Hello my friend and welcome to this quick advanced Roblox tutorial in Blender. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to visualize and use vertex alpha and vertex color in a shader for Blender. So to start what we're going to do is we're going to go into the shading tab up here or click and drag up from the corner window and go to shader editor. From here we're going to go to the material tab, add a new material, and we're going to click shift we're going to type shift a press s to search and we're going to get a rgb node this will be our base color for our object so this will be what you see in roblox as the base color of a part for example from here we're going to do shift a search again mix color node set that mix node to multiply down here at the bottom factor of one take that first color mix it into a Click that result and move it over into the base color of the principled BSDF. Uh, so next we're going to do shift a search color attribute. Pull this in, click and drag to B. Take the alpha from uh, the color into B. Alpha goes into the alpha of principled BSDF. Now you'll see our object is turning fully black and that's because we don't have a color attribute. So to fix that, there's two ways. First, you can go into the data tab and go to color attributes and click add or you can go into vertex paint and it'll automatically add one however on version 3.0 and later it goes face color with bite color not what we need so what you can do to fix that is you can click here on this little tab convert color attribute to vertex and color that is what we want or if you're doing it adding manually click it click the plus button color vertex already set to named color press ok go back to your color attribute click it and go to color. So now we have a fully visible setup. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick just to make my life a little bit easier. And we're shave, shade smooth. So now we have a smooth out, um, excuse me. Now we have a smoothed uh, cube, that's the word. I uh, couldn't remember it. Now we're gonna go to edit mode and I'm going to select the top. Actually, we're gonna select the bottom. We're gonna go bottom first bottom ring which will make all these verts selected so if we go into now vertex paint mode go up here and click vertex selection you can see uh, we are now selected on the bottom press X to go to black shift K will set all of these vertex vertexes vertices that are selected to this full color of black next we're gonna press control I which will invert this selection and we're gonna go up here to mix set it to erase alpha before I continue, uh, we're going to go back to the material mode and we're going to edit one more thing. Go down to settings, blend mode, opaque, set it to alpha blend and turn off show back face. You'll see what this will do in a minute. So now that we have the setup, we're going to set up the alpha, the vertex alpha, which is already here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag with that erase alpha mode on all the way around. And you'll see it blends out that whole top portion of that material of that asset so now we have a smooth gradation a smooth gradation from top of full fully transparent to bottom with fully opaque you can kind of see it in the background there there's a lot of ways you can use this and in particular the ways i like to use it are for blending so now what we can do is we can take this into roblox and once in Roblox and imported, in order to visualize the vertex alpha, what we're going to do is set the transparency of that object to 0.011 or higher. I don't know if it works lower. In my experience, 0.01 is the minimum before transparency kicks in. Fun fact, and also kind of unfortunate fact, if you're using surface appearance with vertex alpha, it'll work perfectly. However, vertex color will not apply over a surface appearance object. So if you want to have a full normal map, metal map and all that, you cannot do that with vertex color, but you can do that with vertex alpha. And you can use that in some very fun and interesting ways. Um, I hope this video is informative and you learned a lot. If you use this technique at all, tag me on Twitter at Create a Chameleon. I'd love to see what you do with it. Have a good one, y'all.